guys, the dinosaurs have taken over Take 5. I'm here with Allison and Jacob. Allison, what is going on? Uh, well, we're doing a lot right now. Uh, so far, we have our three main dinosaurs. So we have Terry, our Triceratops, uh, Tommy, our T-Rex, and Blue, our Raptor. And then we have our little babies as well. Um, we've been doing a lot of projects. We're here to celebrate with families. We go to event centers. We have birthday parties at their, their homes as well. And we're also doing stuff for the kids at schools as well. Uh, so it's a lot going on. Can you tell us a little bit about each dinosaur that you have right here, the type they are, and their names? Oh, so this is Blue, our Velociraptor. She is a carnivore. She's a full-grown male. Well, female, female. Oh, oh a she's female. a girly. Okay, she's, she's a girl. like us. And then we have Tommy, our T-Rex. He's only like five months years old, so he, he comes out in that size. And we have Terry, the Triceratops, and she is a herbivore, but she loves to dance. She loves, all our dinosaurs love to dance. All right, dinosaurs, you guys ready? All right, here we go, here we go. All right, everybody clap. All right, air guitar, air guitar. Okay. I see you. Oh, look at the bubbles. All right, jump, jump, jump. Okay. Oh, look, he's jumping. Oh, that's right. high. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, chop. Just like a dinosaur. That's pretty much it, yeah. Great job, Terry. <laughs> Good job, Terry. Good job, Tommy. I see you there, Blue. I love it. Okay, guys, so for our viewers that want to visit you guys, where can they find you? Uh, well, they can find us on Facebook. We have also an Instagram, a TikTok. Thank you so much for joining us. You guys, elevate your next event with Jurassic RGB. And speaking of fun and unique things to do in the RGB, you may have noticed the white and blue tent right off the expressway in Donna. That's right, Circo Hermanos Vasquez is in town and our reporter Carmen Elena is taking us inside to see what they're planning this year. Hey Carla, I am at the Circo Hermanos Vasquez in Donna, Texas, and they're here to entertain us with their amazing acts. Let's go see what they have planned for us this time. Once again, Circo Hermanos Vasquez makes its way back to Donna, kicking off their tour right here with us. And they'll be performing lots of new and exciting acts. Memo Vasquez, one of the owners, tells us their mission is to bring joy to people's lives. It's a live show. The performers are putting their life over there, a lot of effort to, to give you some fun, you know. The, our mission is to guide you here and, and you can laugh, you can have a good time, forget about the problems of every day. So, I really invite you to come here in circus. I was even invited to go behind the scenes and take a look at all the hard work and planning that goes into the show before the big opening night. This is the biggest 10 touring of the United States and this is like three or four days of working hard to put it together. You know, when we got here there's nothing on it so then we need to put up the tent and then the chairs, the lining, so it's a lot, a lot of work. We have almost 200 people uh, traveling with the circus. Memo tells us a little bit about the performers you can expect to see when you come and visit. These performers come from all around the world and their cultures come together in a magnificent way to entertain us and leave us in awe. Behind me we have people from Ukraine and we also have a, for the first time people from India. So this is a two hour show and everybody's wanna be having a lot of fun. This time, they're also introducing a very special guest that will definitely make you laugh. We have a pretty good clown. He came solo from Ukraine also. It's the first time that we got it here in Circus Baskets, and it's very, very funny. Memo says that what he enjoys the most is seeing people's reactions when they come to experience the show. 
Well, something I, I haven't told you is that I am the ringmaster, so the whole circus, the whole show, it's, it's, it's pretty good for me because I enjoy the laugh of the people, you know. The most that I enjoy is to see in the, the faces of the children and also the faces of the grandparents, you know, because this is for all ages, so you can see the whole family having fun here at Circus Vasquez, and that's what I like the most. Circo Hermanos Vasquez will be in Donna until February 27. You can get your tickets now by visiting circusvasquez.com. So come and see us. Go to our website, circusvasquez.com. Los esperamos. What's better than going to the circus? I know, going to the circus with popcorn. Today we have big country kettle corn in the house, so let's go outside and take a look. Okay guys, we made it outside and I'm here with big country kettle corn and we're gonna be making some popcorn in a second, but first I really wanna get to know you guys now. I know you guys are in Los Fresnos, but tell us about all of your unique popcorn flavors. We'd love to. Well, at big country kettle corn, we like to think that we're imaginative and we have a lot of different flavors to offer. In truth, we have somewhere in the area of 26 different flavors to offer. Here we have a sampling of it. You can see we have birthday cake, which is a delicious vanilla birthday cake flavor. Okay, so that's my favorite ice cream flavor. So yeah. now we're really gonna see if it translates to popcorn. It does. We're up to the challenge. It does, it's one of my favorites. Next to that, you've got caramel apple, which kind of has a Cracker Jack taste to it, but it is what it says it is. Caramel and apple combined, very delicious. This one's one of our best sellers for the kids. It's our rainbow crazy corn. It isn't just dyed colors. It is actually colors of blueberry, grape, wow. lemon, strawberry, the oh works. Oh my gosh. So I see that you guys have so many different flavors and I know that we were talking a little bit before and you mentioned you have how many flavors, Rosa? We're gonna have 30 now. We made Texas wildfire and it's a blend of uh, spicy and butter. It's super good. It has a twang of lemon. Yeah. Super good. Okay, Michael. So I got to know, how did you guys first get started? Well, we started up as just a family business with a little 10 by 10, going to different events, concerts, and, and fairs and things of that nature. That was back in 2016. Big Country Kettle Corn was born in Los Fresnos in 2020. It's a standalone brick and mortar uh, establishment. And uh, we've been blessed ever since to be able to, to serve the people of Rio Grande Valley. And we're a family owned business and a lot of the ingredients for our Kettle corn is purchased here in the 956. Well, Michael, where can they find you guys if they want to go ahead and try some popcorn with you? We're located in Los Fresnos off of North Arroyo Boulevard, 315 North Arroyo Boulevard, Suite 1. Perfect. Okay, what do you guys say we make some more popcorn? Let's go make some popcorn. All right. Okay. Pour in the corn. Okay, I'm going to pour it in. Is there a specific way I have to do this? Just nice I'm just going to do it. Okay. Ah, uh, you've done this before. <laughs> now you can pour in the kettle. I'm sorry, the caramel. I'll okay, that. this is our sugar. caramel mix. I pour in the whole thing? Put in the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna pour it in. And it already smells so good. Okay, I poured it in. Right, and now we're gonna put in some sugar. Okay, sugar. The way it's like making a little noise. Like, it's a little reggaeton song, even. <laughs> like, <laughs> so what's my next step? Okay, so next you're gonna turn the valve all the way up. Okay. Kick up the fire. All the way. Whoa. There we go. Whoa, that made a noise. Now you can see this cooking up pretty good. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm at the fair right now. You kind of are. You brought the fair here to KRGV. <laughs> okay, we're ready. Let's okay. go. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Woo! You did good. <laughs> there it is. Shall we try it? Okay, let's try let's it. Let's try it. Okay. It's a little warm. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's delicious. We always tell our customers, buy a bigger bag than you think you want. Absolutely. This is addicting. Where can they find you one more time? We're located in Los Fresnos at 315 North Arroyo. Sweet one. Guys, come try this out for yourself. It's so good. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. If you're proud to be from the RGV, the wardrobe you've been looking for is next. 
And we're sitting down and getting to know the two women behind the brand with 73,000 followers on TikTok and 55,000 on Instagram. Next on Take 5. It's time for Take 5 Off, and we are here with the owners of JZD, Jen and Vero. Guys, thanks for so much for joining us. We're so excited to have you. Uh, so just in case someone doesn't know what JZD is, what is it? Oh my gosh, thank you so much for having us. Um, JZD is a Latina empowerment brand. We started back in 2016, and we have slowly but surely grown into what we are today. We have a storefront in Brownsville, and then we have our online shop, which you can visit at shopjzd.com. And yeah, we're so happy to be here. We're so happy to have you guys. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are actually giving our viewers a very special offer of 20% off. Now, how can get they get that 20% off? Yeah, so they're gonna use code TAKE5 at checkout at shopjcd.com, or if they visit us in our store at North Park Plaza in Brownsville and they just say TAKE5, they'll be able to get that 20% off. Okay, so I see that you guys brought some amazing stuff to us, and I'm so ready to shop. You guys know I'm there <laughs> all of the time. So let's head over to our first shirt here. Tell me about this shirt. So this shirt is our, it's from our new collection. It's like, no arriesga, no gana, which translates to, if Whoever you don't take the risk, you're not gonna get the biscuit. Something <laughs> along those lines. So this is one of our best sellers right now from the new connection. And then we have our Brownsville tee, which we also just launched, and it says Puro 956 because you know we have to represent the 956. Of course, Puro 956. Now you guys are actually based out of Brownsville, right? Yes, we are. We are, yes. And we have our storefront there as well, so we're super excited. We just opened it about three months ago. Amazing. So these two shirts are 20% off, so make sure you take advantage of that very, very special offer. Now let's move on to our third shirt here. It says, Todo bien, ya llore. Yes, that is one of our best sellers. Veto's wearing it today. Yep. And it's actually a limited edition for the month of February, the month of love. So we decided to bring it in the red colorway and it's already a bestseller. Yeah, people are loving it. Veto, tell me about how this idea came about. So I'm a crier. I'm very <laughs> emotional. I cry about everything. And it was one of those days where Jen was just like, okay, you it's enough. You've cried enough. Let's 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 figure it out. And then she was like, Todo bien, ya lloras this. And that's how that shirt came about. I love it so much. So I actually have this shirt. Um, but what's really special and unique about you guys is you have the design in other forms, right? Yes. 
Yes, yeah, so one of the best parts of the business is that we do all of our screen printing and embroidering in our warehouse in Brownsville. So because of that, we have the ability to put the design on different garments. We can do t-shirts, we can do sweatshirts, we can do tote bags. So we like to take the customer feedback and apply it to our business. And speaking of tote bags, I see one right here. Mereces cosas bonitas. That translates to, you deserve nice things. Yes. yes. And you know, these tote bags are like the best in the game. They're sturdy, they're really good for students. They have a little secret pocket on the inside, which for me, it's absolutely the best because when you have tote bags, sometimes you throw your wallet or your phone in there and you lose it. But because it is baggy, you don't lose it. Yep. If you're a parent watching this, this makes for the perfect gift for that student. Now, as well for students, we have some really trendy cups here. Yes, tumblers are the trend. And this one is perfect because it's double insulated. So you can put your iced coffee in here and it will stay cold um, and perfect for you to take it on the go. And it's also 20% off. And it actually has that iconic Latina power, I see. Yes, Latina power has definitely become a staple for JZD. It's the first piece that really catapulted our business to what it is today. And so on our website and in our store, you'll be able to find Latina Power on Everything. a lot of things. Tumblers, stickers, t-shirts, sweaters, stationery, a little bit of everything. I actually have the Latina Power shirt, which you guys may have seen in the beginning uh, in, in that intro. Uh, I love it so much. I wear it all the time. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Yep. Now, make sure you guys get that 20% off again by going to JZD in the city of Brownsville or going online to shop JZD and using code take by law. And we're back with the owners of JZD, Jen and Vero. Guys, we were talking off camera and from partnerships with Target to inspiring Latinas everywhere. You guys are really putting the RGV on a map. So <laughs> tell us how JZD first got started. Thank you so much, first of all. So yeah, we started back in 2016 and we started off super duper small. We didn't even have our own website. We only were selling on Etsy and then we were doing everything out of our apartment. One bedroom apartment. Yeah. yeah, small little place. And then slowly but surely we started to grow. Once we created the Latina Power Shirt, in like November of 2016, that's really when we discovered, okay, this is what we wanna do with our life. This is where we find meaning. And it was really what was bringing us joy was to create pieces that would empower our community. And we realized how many people wanted that empowerment. Yeah, and it was starting conversations. Yeah. You know, it was not just about selling a t-shirt, you were selling a feeling with the t-shirt. So we started seeing little, I mean, it wasn't like we had a lot of people uh, messaging us or anything, because we had 12 shirts for Latina yeah. Power. That's how we started. In reality, we were selling nine. Oh my god. Because goodness. one was for her, one was for me, and one was for her mom. Right, yeah. So people started messaging us, and it was like, we feel so empowered, and we were like, it was starting this is conversations with other people as well. Like they were going to coffee shops, and they were like, hey, I wore your shirt and somebody came up to me mm -hmm. and now we're friends. And like that was super impactful for us. Right. And ever since then, we just decided, okay, this is what we're gonna do moving forward. And we haven't looked back since. And since then, like you were saying, we've launched at Target. We have our own storefront. We have a warehouse space now. So yeah, I mean, it's been in the course of seven years, but it's been an incredible journey. Yeah, and that's crazy how much you've really grown. I mean, I've seen celebrities everywhere posting their Latina Power shirts. Yes, yeah. that has been super fun. We still don't truly believe it sometimes. I know, we it's like mind pictures. blowing. Yeah, but it's been incredible. I mean, everybody has been so supportive and everybody has been so willing to talk about it on socials, knowing how much of an impact that holds in today's world. So it has been incredible for our business to have celebrities and influencers kind of promote that messaging as well because at the end of the day, the messaging is what's most important. And when people that have such a big platform talk about it, they reach more people. And so that's the most important thing for us. And lastly, what's your message to Latinas everywhere right now that are so inspired by you guys? Oh my gosh, I think the most important thing that we always wanna portray is that we have to fight for a seat at the table and always. we deserve a seat at the table. And even though sometimes we might feel like we don't belong in these rooms, we gotta take up the space and we just have to fight for it and be ready.
Well, thank you both so much for joining me today. Guys, don't forget you get 20% off today at shopjzd.com by using code TAKE5. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Stay with us, you too can be a pet parent. We're here to help convince you after the break. Plus, your opportunity to run for a great cause when TAKE5 returns. And we're back with this week's Pet of the Week with Take 5 reporter, Millicent Olivares. Millicent, who do you got there? Carla, we are here today at the Harlingen Humane Society and we have another very special guest for our Pet of the Week. This is Happy. He is so adorable. He is two months old and he's actually a new addition here to the Harlingen Humane Society. And just like all the other animals that they have here, he is looking for his forever home. Why not you? You can go ahead and call that number on your screen to get more information on how you can adopt and help an animal in need here at the Harlingen Humane Society. So for Take 5 Pet of the Week, I'm Millicent Olivares. Up next, a list of upcoming events you're going to want to attend after the break.
Follow us on social media. You can find us at take5.krgv on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Now is your chance to run for a great cause. The Aurora House 7th Annual 80s Retro Glow Run is officially here and here to tell us more about it is Maricela Gonzalez with Aurora House. Maricela, what can you tell us about this year's event? So we're very excited um, because we are, pa well, not past COVID, but it's past COVID. And so we're just excited to have it back. Um, it was gone for a bit and we just want the community to be out there and, and just have some fun. And it's for us, it's a really great way to promote health um, because we as Aurora House know what happens when healthcare is not all there. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just a great way for us to promote and, and, and give a healthy lifestyle. So. so tell me about the work that Aurora House does. Okay. So we are a nonprofit located here in Westlaco. Um, we are a 10 bedroom uh, house. And what we do is provide comfort and care and support to individuals who have been diagnosed as terminal and have less than three months to live. Um, we are not a hospice, but we do work closely with their hospices. And we have really, we're an extension of the home. We provide that 24 hour caregiving. Um, and we just want to be able to provide that comfort and that you know, level of care that's needed you know, in their last phase of life. So now back to the run, how far are we talking? Are we talking 1K? We have two uh, different sets. So it's 1K for, for children and, and, and families. Um, and then we do have a 5K. We do have some younger ones that run that 5K. We've seen, you know, eight year olds, nine year olds that wow. run that 5K. Um, but it's really fun. It's glow in the dark. It's 80s retro people dress up Cindy Lauper style. Um, and we have glow in the dark paint. And uh, it's just we have uh, black lights all around. And it's just a really fun way for people to, to come and support a great cause as well as be out there and just, you know, do something healthy. All right. Well, so. where can people get their tickets at? So there is a website you can go on to Aurora House Foundation or actually aurorahouse.org. Um, and under right at the end, it says events and you click on that and the link to uh, to the website for the run is, is there. So well, thank you so much for joining us. Maricela. OK, so here are more events happening across the valley. Tomorrow in Westlaco, join the downtown eatery for brunch and yoga. There's going to be delicious food and drinks. And of course, bring those comfy clothes for the yoga. That's tomorrow at 1030 AM. Plus this Monday in Edinburgh, join Artology for an acrylic painting class. Let off some steam after work and paint the night away. This event is bring your own wine, so have the best time painting. That's this Monday from 6 to 8 PM. And in McAllen, check out the Simon and Garfunkel story at the McAllen Performing Arts Center. This theater show chronicles the journey shared by the folk rock duo Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel. That's this Tuesday at 730. Thank you so much for joining us on this Saturday morning. We'll be back tomorrow for more. Until then, have a great rest of your day.